Morning, Andy. Is your car fixed? No. Oh, no. It's wet and drizzly today, guys. Andy's trying to get his car sorted. He's got car issues. So I think his uh, partner's taking his car back. Me this morning because uh, I didn't get up too long ago. <laughs> My brother gave me a call and uh, and that was the wake-up call. And I normally like an hour before I get anything done in the morning. Are you excited, Andy? Oh, don't scratch it. Oh, look at it. You yeah. Big shed. No, I'm doing a mix. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, Andy was asking if I was going to let him in somewhere, but uh, my dad's not got a mix done, so I need to sort that out. Yeah, I'll get on with that. Today, because she's doing that women's in agriculture technology, using technology, something like that um, <laughs> thing today. We'll find out more about that tomorrow. So um, when she gets back, we'll quiz her and find out what she's been up to and uh, how exciting it was. So well, in the meantime, it means that I'll be Andy and my dad's gate bitch today. What happened with the stall, Andy? What's that? With the stall? The stall? Yeah, I don't know. Oh no, I did get it on camera, yes. No, I didn't really. I missed it. <laughs> what Andy doesn't like about a tractor is it's too shiny. Yeah, you need to make matte tractors, John Deere. These matte tractors. Because you're getting reflections and it's uh, it's messing up with stalling. <laughs> Got that part back up in there, Andy can do a mix a bit later. It's about putting the fodder beat around now. Check this out, and Andy's giving me a go on his new tractor. Oh, nice. That's it now, look. Joe's on board. I've been kicked out already, look. Yeah, I think uh, we'll put 6.9.30 on this next time, Andy. Just keep this in shed, all right? All right, Joe. Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> cool. Joe's going to blow some straw in. Thought I'd best let him have a go. Keep him happy. I let him on it for five minutes. Look at the state of it. Payback time. I get to video Joe putting the bail in. <laughs> He'll probably do it first time. Look at that, look. Oh, 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 Joe, Joe that, okay. that tractor's rather quiet. Damn. What happened? It's just got me stalling the tractor. It's um, obviously not got the same low end grunt as the 125, this 130. Um, but it's just taking a little bit of getting used to anyway. Ah. Yeah, Andy's just got one more bale to do. And then we're done. It's a bit weird how it um, stalled. Andy says he stalled it three times this morning. Just getting used to the tractor or whether it just runs at a slightly lower idle speed or something. Um, yeah, a bit strange really. But we'll see how we get on with it for next week or something. And if, it, if we think it's a problem, we'll have to contact John Deere about it. But, uh, but yeah, apart from that, it's really quiet in there. Uh, great, it sounds nice. We like it. It looks like Andy's just getting a mix sorted there. Still a dismal, Horrible day. Meanwhile, I've been having my dinner with that tractor stalling. It's on slightly bigger wheels. And obviously, the 125 that went was on smaller wheels and the tyres were worn down a bit more. So maybe that might be the issue. I don't know. What do people think? Let me know in comments. And you're just walking through these guys, trying to find one that's got a specific number because it's uh, coming up towards 30 months. Oh, he's here. This one's stretching over 30 months we don't get paid the same per kilo for that beast um, purely because there's less of a market for it um, less customers that we can send it to so we often look around if we've got cattle that are coming up to 30 months and we will make sure that if they're nearly there we'll send them um, even if they're not entirely finished 
um, just because the amount of money that we will lose if it goes over 30 months is uh, is not worth getting it to its finishing point so um yeah that's why we have to look look around and try and find cattle in pens and uh spend a long time doing it don't we andy yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's why we were doing that so with that it's one. probably about time showed you what we're like inside this uh new 130r then it's got all these extra lights. He then got one outside there, look. Fancy little LEDs in end. Nice. And look at this. Hold it drawbar, that's a bit complex, isn't it? Inside the cab, it's got some mucky uh, paper at minute, but little dicky seat. Nice. This is all touch screen. What's this gearbox called now? Is it auto quad? No, it's not, is it? It's like power quad or something. Oh no, it is auto quad. It does automatically change them. Little drinks bottle holder. Nice. DAB radio. Keep Andy entertained. Nothing but the best. Yeah. Pretty much exactly the same as all of them, really. Electric spools, on it, which... I don't think they're any better for our job that we do, but anyway. It's got it. It's got it. Another thing to go wrong, isn't it? It's a bit here. Yeah. I like this, though. I like this uh, way of lifting the arms up and down. I do like that. I think that's better. Oh, another drinks holder there, I'd not seen that one. Yeah, it's got more drinks holders than one here. You'd be able to go for days in here. Expect all this stuff, it was just what were available. I wouldn't have had three drinks holders. <laughs> it wouldn't have had electric spools. Um, probably wouldn't have had all them lights. Wouldn't have been 50k either, I'd have, I'd have had a 40k. Um, yeah, yeah, so it's just a lot different. Andy's got some bonus things, seeing as we couldn't get one, uh, as we, you know, he couldn't design one, it was just one that was on the books. Wouldn't have this thing above me. Sunroof, what do you need one of them for? It's got aircon. It's, it's at the back. Is that a vent? Fancy. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really know why people would want one of them. Tell me, if you've got a sunroof and you spec'd it, why did you spec it? What's your reason? What's your thoughts? What's your feelings behind specking a sunroof? Yeah, I don't understand it. Like, yeah, if it were in front so you could see more, but like, like that one? I don't know. It's just unnecessary for me. And he's just setting his bales up for the morning. Here we go. Nice and steady. Getting the job done, then he's going to get some hay and he's going to get some silage and just feed it out to uh, the pens that need it. And Andy's just got out of bed. I reckon he hasn't all. Who's bed though? Who's bed? I don't know. Some some poor some not poor fellas. Ashes anyway. <laughs> uh, Big end. She's away, ain't she? She's doing a stardom oh. thing today. So, are we all right? Good, good. Business. All right, Ash. Bad. Five minutes behind. Did you both get out of the same bed? Jealousy gets you nowhere. <laughs> so, them two are going to help me put some of this plasterboard out, put it in a few of the front of the sheds and what have you. Uh, sort of like where we were welding earlier looks a little bit mucky, so I put some in there. Um, yeah, put a bit out. See where this stuff came from and how much it weighed. So it was um, 24 ton, and it comes all the way from Kent, which is um, yeah, just seems a hell of a long way to fetch it up here. Actually, quite close to the. Um, I think it was weighed about 43 ton, something like that, gross. So. It's quite close, really, to being um, 
up to full weight with it. We really compacted it in. Um, which I suppose you've got to do if you're fetching it from Kent. You've got to get plenty on, haven't you? can't see a thing tipping this stuff out. <laughs> Wait for the fog to clear. Oh, I've switched to doing a mix now. And then we're pretty much done for the day then. Andy's just cleaning wagging now. Andy's just going to get his new toy put away. Yeah, two love birds. Don't know what they've been doing. Well, me and Andy just get their new tractor filled up. You'd have thought they'd have filled it up for us, wouldn't you, Andy? That's about us done for today. Uh, me and Big Mick and Ash probably going to go in and have a coffee now. Andy's got to go back and sort his car out because it's knackered, isn't it, Andy? Eh? The car's knackered. It's knackered, Charlie. <laughs> Brick, Brick's uh, need sorting, so he's going to uh, head home and sort that job out. And remember, M's back tomorrow, isn't she, Mick? Yep. Are you back? Dilly, dilly. Nice, nice. We'll see you, Mick. She's going to tell us all about what's been happening um, today with that women in agriculture thing. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Make sure you press that like button because it really helps us out. And if you've not subscribed already, subscribe. See you later, guys. See you tomorrow. Boom. This is a proper wagon. M likes this one. Scania lifting decks for business. And he's off.